Ukrainian army is strengthening the front. Problems growing in the Russian army. Hello, the pioneer viewers. As you know, our agenda is the Russia-Ukraine war. The war is going on despite everything and the situation on both sides are becoming clearer day by day. In recent days, the fighting has been low intensity. The low intensity actually indicates that the parties are preparing for the winter. The starting a war should be last resort of a state. The reason for such a huge economic and social cost must be legitimate. The decision to wage a war should be made taking into account that the people will suffer hardships and have bad days. Getting the support of the public is very important in this context. During the war processes, rational decisions should be made to ensure that the state resources are used to fight with the least loss. In cases where these conditions cannot be met, great disaster evade at the door. First the system collapses and then defeat follows. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has created many problems. The approaches to solving them were quite different. The Ukrainian authorities tried to solve the problem they faced through the corporations and humanitarian methods. Acting in line with the needs of the Ukrainian army, the authorities focused on getting through the difficult days easily. Russian authorities, on the other hand, used pressure to solve the problems. As the problems faced by the Russian army grew day by day, the solution methods were insufficient. Now preparations are being made for the upcoming winter conditions. Both the Russian and Ukrainian armies know the difficulties of the winter warfare. The Ukrainian army is focusing on its own strategy, having identified its shortcomings on the front lines. The Ukrainian army continues its preparations. Now, if you are ready, let's examine the preparations processes of the Ukrainian army together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on the Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us. Let's start, if you are ready, the pioneer reports. The Ukrainian army is trying to increase fortifications on the fronts where it's fighting Russian forces, according to recent reports. Recent statements by the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and Ukrainian Commander-in-Chief Valery Zeluzhny provides clues as to where the Kiev will focus its defense efforts. Ukrainian President Zelensky recently made statements on the preparations of the Ukrainian army. Zelensky said that the Ukrainian troops will shore up defenses along the kupiansk Leman line of the front in northern and western Ukraine as well as further south in Kherson Oblast. Zelensky added that the defenses in the direction of Avdiivka and Marinka in the Donetsk Oblast are very important. Valery Zaluzhny, who met with U.S. representatives in the past days, made a statement on social media. He has stated that the Ukrainian army inflicted significant losses in the manpower and equipments on the Russian army and exhausted them along the entire front line. It is noteworthy that the statements about the Ukrainian defense operations on the border of Kharkiv Luhansk Oblast, as well as the Donetsk and the Kherson Oblast, did not refer to the Prigia Oblast. According to the assessments of military experts, the Ukrainian army aims to form a new strategy in the Zaporizhia region. According to information obtained from local sources, Ukrainian forces in Zaporizhia Oblast are holding their positions southwest of the village of Stromayorsk. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shogo recently told his military leadership that the Russian troops are conducting active defense in eastern Ukraine, where they are holding positions. It is known that the Russian army has suffered many casualties during the active defense. The statements made by the Russian officials are designed to manage the expectations of the Russian public. According to the reports, the operations are falsely described in order not to show the shortcomings and mistakes of the Russian army. Russian officials have difficulties in constructing their rhetoric and explanations. The Kremlin's rhetoric focuses on portraying the Ukrainian army as weak. But this approach causes some problems. 
if the Russian activities in the Avdiivka area were considered a counterattack, the Russian army would have to follow a definable course of operations. For this reason, Russian forces do not hesitate to clear themselves successful as long as they prevent the Ukrainian army. The Ukrainian army continues to strengthen its troops. Ukrainian authorities are trying to make new gains through international negotiations. The Ukrainian army needs new support to continue the war against Russia. With the new support packages announced by the Western countries, the Ukrainian army can continue to fight more strongly. The military capacity of the Ukrainian army has increased rapidly. Accordingly, the number of soldiers serving in the Ukrainian army has also increased. The training standards and officer crops of the Ukrainian army seems to be quite good. The motivation of the Ukrainian soldiers enables the process to move very fast. Ukrainian soldiers who want to liberate their country from the Russian occupation are fighting a great struggle. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky also made a statement recently. In his statement, he thanked every soldier in the Ukrainian army. He expressed his gratitude to the soldiers who fulfilled their duties in the war, the citizens who helped, the teachers who educated, and the doctors who treated, and the people of Ukraine. He noted that the Ukrainian army made significant gains during this week. The positions of the Ukrainian forces on the front lines is also critical. The Ukrainian army is also continuing its attacks on the Russian logistics. The attacks are expected to continue in the winter period. Developments on the front line show that the war will continue intensely under harsh winter conditions. The sabotage attacks of the Russian army are also being watched with great attention. According to information obtained by the Ukrainian military intelligence, the possibility of an attack on Ukrainian logistics was taken into consideration. As a result of the investigations, a group of Russian soldiers was observed east of Stepov. Russian soldiers were seen approaching the railroad tracks. The 47th Machinite Infantry Brigade of the Ukrainian Army organized an operation against the Russian unit. In the operation organized by the Ukrainian Army, the Russian unit approaching the railway tracks was destroyed. This video shared on social media was watched by thousands of people in a short time. In the images shared, it was seen that the Russian infantry advanced in groups. After the infantry units were displayed, the attack screen of the Ukrainian operator appeared. On the attack screen of the Ukrainian army, the crowded Russian infantry was visualized with a thermal camera. After the images, the attack started and the Russian infantry was neutralized. The approaching winter conditions and the preparations of the both sides will show how the balance will change in the coming days. Preparations are being made and the Great Winter War is approaching. The Ukrainian army aims to complete its deficiencies before this war and saves its country. How do you interpret the preparations of the Ukrainian army? Do you think the Russian army has completed adequate preparations? In which area do you think the preparations of the Russian army should be concentrated? How do you evaluate the destruction of the units of the Russian army by the Ukrainian army? How do you interpret the statements of the Ukrainian leader Zelensky? We care about your opinion. Please share it with us.